Hello, once again, and welcome back to WDCTT. We're here, and today we are going to be making a short video on how to glue. So a lot of people don't know how to properly glue their paddles, uh, and a lot of people, you know, they, when they're playing, they're like, oh, something's not right. It, it feels too fast or too slow, or it's, it feels like there's air in there, or it's an inconsistent bounce. Some parts are fast, some parts are slow. Um, so today we'll tell you how to get a nice even glue uh, glue job so it's nice and uh, perfect and it doesn't come unstuck when you're playing. Uh, so to start off, I personally prefer the glue that comes in that the glue that come in tubes. Uh, they're a little bit more viscous, a little bit thicker. Uh, they give you a better stick. The ones that come in the little bottles that kind of leak out and are very watery. Uh, those don't they don't bond as well and What I like about the ones that come in the tube is that it forms kind of a layer so it gives you a, that stronger bond so it's like sponge glue layer and then the wood instead of just sponge and wood and then there's that inconsistency in between so what I start off doing is I get my sponge um, I have a clip today. Normally, I, I don't even look for the clips. Uh, the clip helps a little bit so that you don't get glue on your fingers, but if you've done it as many times as I have, uh, then you don't really get glue on your fingers. Uh, so I put the clip and I cut the sponges. I get more use out of them, so I cut them in halves instead of wasting an entire sponge because once you use it one time, it's no good after that because the glue will get all like hard and mess the sponge up. So, so what I start off by doing is I put a little bit of glue on the sponge. All right, so what I usually start off by doing is I'll put like a little, you know, smiley face, make sure I get enough glue everywhere. And I start off with that because you want to get enough glue so that there's glue everywhere, but you don't want to get too much glue. So what I'm doing is I'm not pressing it in. I'm just lightly, lightly going over it. So I make sure that there's glue everywhere. So I look at that and I think that it's still a little bit too transparent. So I need to put a little bit more glue. Get it slightly thicker. Now, I don't put glue all the way to the end because I know I'm going to cut that end off. So I tend to. Alright, so right now you can see that it looks nice and even. So it looks like everywhere has the same amount of glue. On the wood, you have to make sure that when you took the rubber off before, make sure you rub all those little pieces of dried glue because you get these little bumps on there. And make sure you get all the little bits of dried glue off of there. Because if there are little pieces of dried glue, it will make little bumps when you stick the rubber on. And you want it to be nice, nice and even. And you let that dry until it turns totally transparent. First, you put one or two layers on the sponge uh, because it dries a lot faster on the wood and you only put one layer on the wood. So what I usually do is I put one layer on the sponge, let it dry 20 to 30 minutes, put another layer on the sponge, let it dry 20 to 30 minutes, put another layer, because I usually like two or three layers depending. If it's Chinese rubber, I'll put three or four. If it's Japanese rubber, I'll put two. I'll usually wait after I put the second layer on the sponge, I'll wait 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll put one on the wood because the wood dries much faster than the sponge. So I take that into consideration. And you want them drying at the same, around the same time so that you can stick it on. Okay, so as you can see, the surface is now totally transparent. So when you apply the glue, it's white and you wait until it becomes totally transparent. And when you see that it's transparent, then it's ready for another layer. So I'm gonna put another layer. And usually you have to put less glue the second time because it kind of lays on top. 
as opposed to the first time, the first layer, it soaks a little bit of the glue into the sponge. So the second time, you, you need less glue because it kind of lays on the top. So this might be in it. This might still have enough. Try to put a little bit more. I put it there and I let it dry. So I'm gonna let this dry for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna put some on the on the wood. And then I'll let it dry another 15, 20 minutes around and then I'll apply it. All right, so now we are ready to put the glue on the wood. So it spreads a little bit easier on the wood so you don't need to put as much. So that's more than enough. sure that it's a nice even layer. So you apply it without pressing, so you just get that layer. And then you put it and let it sit. All right, so after another 10 minutes, then we'll see Okay, so when you're sticking the rubber, I have one of these rollers. It just looks like a foam paint roller, but it's actually, uh, by Andrew, it's, it's for table tennis rubber. Um, it's a little bit like a nice smooth foam here. So what I want is I want the to match, make the, the little butterfly logo in the center. So I match it up as good as I can right there in the center and I place the bottom. Then I put the sheet like this and I roll it without applying pressure to stretch it. I just want to make sure that there's no air bubbles. So I don't stretch it. I just make sure that there's no air bubble. So I press it. I apply some pressure. Use a little bit of body weight. Okay, so there are a few ways to cut it. I cut with scissors because I'm very used to cutting it and I can get a close cut with the scissors. So I take my time. <clears throat> okay, so try your best to just stay as even as possible. And you don't want any kind of leaning to one side or another. And you want to cut it nice and straight around. I hold it nice and straight and then you check and see if there's any edges see this one has an edge cool. All right. once again here at 6403 Children's Place Northwest, the Washington DC Table Tennis Center. Here for all of your table tennis needs. Please like, subscribe, and follow. The link is in the description below uh, so you can learn more about table tennis. If you'd like to come in and take a lesson sometime, our information is below. Or if you'd just like to come see the club and play some ping pong, let us know.